The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 12 Qin Huiyu As soon as the sky turned white, Yun Yi got up, not because he was diligent but because he was smoked out of sleep by the carbon monoxide in the room. The damned charcoal brazier had been burning for half the night, not bringing much heat, but producing a lot of carbon monoxide, making his head dizzy. If he continued to sleep, he might die. He went to the old lady's room especially to have a look and then went to the rooms of several little girls to open the doors and windows for ventilation. Fortunately, there was no poisoning incident. The little girls were sleeping soundly, and the thick fur blankets were warm. He tucked the corners of the children's quilts and walked out of the room quietly. The old lady was watching outside the window, her eyes a little moist. This was originally what she had to do every day. Now their brother cared about them. She didn't know what kind of virtue these little girls had accumulated in their previous lives. They had such a considerate brother in this life. Yunyi ran a few laps along the garden and then did a full set of radio gymnastics. After warming up, he picked up the spear on the weapon rack and practiced the spearmanship taught by Chen Kumo several times. He didn't know whether it was because of his mood or because his spearmanship had improved. Today, this set of spearmanship was practiced without any jerky movements. It was smooth and natural, and it was a natural success. When he was interested, he gave a wild roar, and the spear followed his legs and turned into a long dragon. He stabbed at the arrow target in the courtyard. With a snap, he pierced through the arrow target, and the tail of the spear was still shaking up and down. Not bad, not bad, right in the third ring. Just as he was proudly commenting on his work, he saw Lao Zhuang emerge from behind a tree with a look of lingering fear on his face. Your Highness, this set of hundred birds Chaofeng spear technique handed down from Zhao Zilong is becoming more and more exquisite. Within five steps, you hit the bullseye. I admire you very much. Are you complimenting me or hurting me what's the bullseye within five steps what's the hundred birds Chaofeng spear technique it's a battle formation technique in the army. Then I must have remembered it wrong. I have been in the army for 20 years and I can't recognize the spearmanship in the army. I deserve to die. Get lost. Zhuang San Ting rolled halfway, and came back again. Your Majesty, you should not practice spearmanship when there are many people around. I am really worried about the eight young ladies in the mansion. It would be bad if they were injured by your domineering aura. After finishing speaking, he closed his mouth and looked like a loyal and righteous man. Forget it, Yun Yi sighed, I am not the material for practicing martial arts. I have practiced a set of spearmanship for half a year and I was still mistaken by others. He insisted that it was taught by Zhao Zilong. He seemed to see the sad and indignant eyes of Zhao Zilong with a white horse and a silver spear. He turned his grief into appetite. After swallowing two bowls of millet porridge, he planned to swallow another bowl when Chen Kumo came. This kid dragged a cart of gifts, respectfully greeted the old lady in the living room, and then dragged Yunyi to the side hall, saying that he was in a hurry in the morning and didn't have breakfast, and asked Yunyi to get him some pig's feet, and then a large bowl of braised pork, sweet and sour spare ribs, preferably a big bowl of all kinds of ribs. 
there was too little last night. He didn't have a few bites before he was kicked out by Lao Chen, so he deliberately left his stomach open for a big meal in the morning. Who eats those things early in the morning are you not afraid of getting tired seeing Chen Kumo's hopeful face, it's not good to say anything more. Anyway, there is nothing that Lao Cheng's family can't digest. He ordered that the braised pig's feet and braised pig liver made last night be cut and brought up, and then a bowl of braised pork was heated up. The braised lion's head is made again in a bowl, forget it, let me do it myself, the cook can't make the right taste. Chen Kumo leaned on the kitchen door frame and gnawed at a large piece of pig liver, watching Yun Yi cook for him. The two brothers had long been nothing outsiders. Where else could guests lie on the door waiting to eat, and the male owner of the main family was busy in the kitchen, especially a small country duke and a marquis. It would cause a sensation if it was spread out, and it might even lead to impeachment by the censor. But they didn't care, one felt that it was natural to ask his brother to eat, and the other felt that it was natural to cook for his brother. The cook ran far away in fear, feeling that failing to meet the master's requirements was a major stain on his career, but this marquee was too difficult to serve. Last night, I tasted the dishes made by the marquee and burst into tears. This was not for people to eat. This was for immortals to eat. Just on the small table in the kitchen, Chen Kumo finished a table of dishes like a storm, touched his oily mouth, picked up the teapot poured half a pot of water down the spout, and then let out a long breath, My father is looking for you, want you to take the doctor's instrument, and go to the Wing State Duke's mansion. I'm not a doctor, to see a doctor, find one. My father thinks that your ability as a doctor is much better than that of a doctor. Besides, what can those quack doctors do about Uncle Chin's illness Wei Yu has begged me for several days? If you hadn't just come back, the family's affairs would not be settled. I came to you the first day. Uncle Chin and my father are life and death friends, Will they let you go? Chen Kumo said casually, picking his teeth. Chen Kian must be anemic. The massive blood loss in the early years caused a decline in hematopoietic function, and insufficient oxygen molecules carried by blood vitality, resulting in weakness and frequent illness. If there is a headache or fever, he will be bedridden. I don't know if a blood transfusion will be better. Based on the medical principle of treating people as livestock, let's go and have a look, and we'll talk about it if it doesn't work. Anyway, it's better than the Tang Dynasty doctors who used Lyme as medicine. He ordered Lu Jinbao to go to the barracks to get his coal stove back, and then get some coal blocks. Tell the old lady to find a blacksmith to build several similar stoves, and then build dozens of iron barrels for spare use. It is best if you can build an iron kettle. The old lady was not good at teaching her grandson in front of outsiders, so she just asked the housekeeper and to go to CIN Temple to find some familiar neighbors. He remembered that there were several blacksmiths. If the things they built were easy to use, they would be kept at home. She made up her mind not to let her grandson's secret recipe be passed on to irrelevant people. Yunya took the first aid kit, filled a small bottle of spirits, and ordered the servants to lead the big green horse over, and was about to go out. But seeing Chen Kumo dawdling and not moving, what else do you want to do I have everything ready, let's go, after seeing the patient, 
I have to come back and install the stove. I didn't sleep well all night because of the carbon monoxide last night. A few more things are missing. Chen Kumo looked mysterious. Yunye checked and found nothing missing, everything was there, even the simple stethoscope he had made in the military camp. Nothing was missing. Chen Kumo pointed in the direction of the kitchen. He knew that Yunye's kitchenware was all specially made, and the kitchen of the Wing State Duke's mansion could not get it. Are you asking me to see a doctor or to cook the house is in a mess, there is no food to eat, no sleep, and I almost fell into the cesspool when I went to the toilet. I used a few more good papers to wipe my butt and my grandmother scolded me for a day. I can't live anymore. If I take a few more baths, my sisters will be busy for half a day. The bed is as hard as a stone slab, and the blanket is as heavy as a stone. How can you ask me to live how can I have time to cook not to mention that there are no green vegetables to eat? Look at the barbs on my fingers. Speaking of the tragic life in Chang'an city these days, Yunye was crying and snorting. Chang Kumo looked at him like a monster. The food just now was not necessarily as delicious as the royal families, so it was hard to swallow. Who doesn't have a brazier in the house in the middle of winter I have seen the poor who don't even have a brazier. Wearing a fur coat is a luxury only for nobles. Who doesn't use bamboo chips to squat in the toilet only the emperor uses silk, and with the emperor's current temper, he might even use bamboo chips to wipe his butt. Eat green vegetables eat green vegetables in the middle of winter the daily output of the Wentang Jian is only a hundred or so caddies, which is not enough to supply the supreme emperor, the emperor and the empress. How can there be any surplus for others to eat even if there are important ministers of the court who are unwell? His Majesty will occasionally bestow three or two caddies. Who else has seen it? Brother, you are naturally not short of these things when you are with the old immortal. Haven't you entered the world this is how people live in this world. Don't worry about it. Can't you live a hard life after Chen Kumo said this, he felt that he should be beaten, and quickly said, the Duke of Wing has already lost his temper, saying that he didn't get a share of last night's delicacies. He said that you are unfilial to the elderly and wants to come and beat you up. My father managed to persuade him to come down. He is now waiting for you in the Qin mansion with the Duke of Wei and the Duke of Ying. Hurry up and let the servants move the things up. Let's go quickly. If he loses his temper later, it will be us who will be unlucky. I can't afford to offend him. An old guy who came out of a bandit's den. Helplessly, Yunye had no choice but to ask the servants to bring the whole set of kitchen equipment and follow him, along with the seasonings. It's too much. It's too much. Why do Lao Qin, Lao Cheng, and Lao Niu live in Taiping Fang, but my family has to live in Yang and Fang Taiping Fang is just across the street from the palace gate, but my house is 10,000 miles away. The difference between Tiananmen Square in Beijing in later generations and the area outside the 8th Ring Road. The Duke is worth money. So is my marquee just a dog bone what's even more infuriating is that the two stone lions at the entrance of Lao Qin's house are taller than a person, with ferocious faces and arrogant aura. The two lions in my house are like lion dogs. There are also two iron halberds inserted beside the door, which are said to be the ceremonial guards bestowed by Li Er, which makes people feel inferior. Fortunately, 
The vermilion gate with copper nails was opened with a side door, and a young man in a fur coat was standing in front of the door. Seeing Yunya and Chankomo rushing over on horseback, he greeted them, Brother Yun, I, Chin Huiyu, am late to welcome you. I hope you will forgive me. His respectful manners and serious face made people want to beat him up. Yunya just thought about it, but Chankomo had already started, no, it was his foot. As expected of a martial arts family, he kicked him in the body, but his upper body swayed, and his feet did not move. Xiaoye is my brother. If you dare to make sour water again, I will kick you to death. Xiao Chang cursed and threw the horse reins to the servant. He grabbed Yun Ye and walked into the door. He gave Qin Huiyu a wry smile and grabbed his sleeve to signal him to go in together. Brother Huiyu, you're being too polite. Uncle Qin is unwell, and as a junior, I should have come to visit him earlier. I'm late today, it's my fault, please don't blame me, Brother Huiyu. Brother Yun, you're a descendant of a noble family. I've heard from Ugly Cow about your many deeds, and I've been longing to meet you. A few days ago, I planned to visit your mansion, but Ugly Cow said that you were busy with family affairs and I couldn't make it. Today, I'm asking Brother Yun to diagnose my father's illness. I'm really ashamed. Are you too done Uncle Chin is still waiting? If you start fighting, no one will dare to stop you. They turned through the flower hall and came to the front yard. Before they even entered the moon gate, they heard a roar, Stinky boy, did you bring the person? <laughs>